Life Philosophies Unleashed. Welcome to this enlightening journey on how to live a good life, drawing wisdom from the profound teachings of Buddha. Let's embark on a transformative exploration of the five precepts from the philosophy of Buddha, each guiding us toward a life filled with meaning, compassion, and mindfulness. 1. Refrain from taking life. The first precept, refrain from taking life, handed down by Buddha, unveils the profound interconnectedness of all living beings and encourages us to tread lightly upon the world. While it may seem self-evident that we refrain from physically harming others, this precept dives deeper into the realm of our actions, intentions, and even our thoughts. Buddha urges us to transcend our automatic reactions, those moments when a mosquito lands on our skin, triggering an instinctive swat. In these seemingly insignificant instances, he invites us to cultivate mindfulness, reminding us that even the smallest creatures have a right to exist. This extends to the myriad of life forms that share our planet, from towering mammals to minuscule insects. Moreover, this precept extends its compassionate reach to our daily choices. It challenges us to examine our consumption habits, reminding us that indirect participation in the taking of life, such as consuming products derived from animals, is not exempt from this ethical guideline. By being mindful of the consequences of our actions, we can actively reduce the suffering inflicted on other beings. Yet, the most subtle and transformative aspect of this precept lies within the realm of our thoughts. In the heat of anger or conflict, we may find ourselves harboring thoughts of harm or even wishing ill upon others. Here, Buddha calls us to redirect our mental energies towards empathy, compassion, and genuine concern for the welfare of all sentient beings. In doing so, we cultivate a mindset of loving kindness that transcends mere avoidance of harm. The ultimate aspiration of this precept is not merely the avoidance of killing, but the cultivation of a deep and abiding compassion. By respecting and cherishing all forms of life, we become acutely aware of our choices. From the food we consume to the clothing we wear, through these conscious choices, we work towards minimizing the suffering inflicted upon other beings. Living in harmony with this precept not only enriches our lives, but also transforms us into beacons of peace and compassion. We become emissaries of a profound truth that all living beings, regardless of their form or size, share the same intrinsic right to life. In embracing this wisdom, we contribute to a world that is not only less violent, but also more compassionate and just, embodying the very essence of Buddha's teachings. Two, refrain from theft. The second precept, refrain from theft, embodies the essence of respect for others' property and personal boundaries in the philosophy of Buddhism. It goes far beyond the conventional understanding of theft as the act of physically taking someone else's belongings. Instead, this precept extends its profound wisdom to encompass intangible aspects such as personal space and time, highlighting the importance of cultivating a respectful and considerate nature in our interactions with others. At its core, this precept encourages us to embrace honesty and generosity as fundamental virtues in our lives. In the world of Buddhism, generosity, known as dina, holds a pivotal role. It transcends the mere act of giving material wealth and encompasses a broader sense of showing respect, selflessly donating our time and efforts to assist those in need and willingly sharing what we have with others who may require it. Respecting the property of others and refraining from the assumption that we can freely borrow or move their possessions without permission serves as a profound lesson in empathy and mindfulness. It urges us to pause and consider the impact of our actions on others. By adopting such a mindful approach, we can ensure that we do not infringe upon others' rights or take what has not been willingly given to us. As we adhere to this precept, we not only build a foundation of honesty and generosity in our own lives, 
but also contribute to the creation of a harmonious and compassionate society. It is through our commitment to respecting the property and personal space of others that we forge deeper connections, promote trust, and create an environment where kindness and consideration prevail. In essence, the second precept encourages us to be mindful stewards of not only our material possessions, but also our actions and intentions. By cultivating a sense of respect for the boundaries and belongings of others, we actively engage in the promotion of goodwill and harmony, aligning ourselves with the principles of Buddhism that guide us toward a life enriched by moral character and compassion. 3. Abstain from sexual misconduct. The third precept, abstain from sexual misconduct, serves as a profound guidepost in the journey of self-awareness and ethical conduct. In the teachings of Buddha, this precept acknowledges that desire is an intrinsic aspect of human nature, but it emphasizes the critical importance of ethical conduct within our intimate relationships. At its core, this precept urges us to explore the depth and impact of our sexual desires and actions. It extends far beyond a simplistic view of sexual morality, delving into the intricacies of how our choices affect not only ourselves, but also those with whom we share our lives. Sexual misconduct, as defined by Buddha, encompasses a wide spectrum of actions that cause harm to others. It includes acts like cheating, which betray the trust of a partner, non-consensual sexual acts, which inflict emotional and physical pain, and any form of abuse, which violates the dignity and well-being of another person. In our contemporary society, where questions about the compatibility of Buddhism with issues like pornography and prostitution arise, it is essential to grasp the nuanced nature of these teachings. Buddha's wisdom encourages us to view sexual misconduct in the context of broader ethical principles. It prompts us to ponder how our actions impact others, whether they involve deceit, taking what is not freely given, or causing harm, either physically or emotionally. Ultimately, the precept of abstaining from sexual misconduct serves as a profound reminder to approach our sexual relationships with mindfulness and pure intentions. It calls us to respect the well-being and dignity of ourselves and others, recognizing that our choices can have far-reaching consequences. To live in harmony with this precept means to cultivate ethical conduct within our intimate relationships. It invites us to engage with others in a way that honors their autonomy, consent, and emotional well-being. In doing so, we not only navigate our own desires with wisdom, but also contribute to a world where trust, respect, and compassion form the foundation of all our interactions. In embracing this precept, we learn that our sexual relationships are not just individual pursuits of pleasure but opportunities to manifest our moral character. It's a reminder that our actions, even in the most intimate aspects of our lives, have a profound impact not only on ourselves, but on the interconnected web of beings with whom we share this world. 4. Abstain from wrong speech. The fourth precept, abstain from wrong speech, is a cornerstone of ethical communication in Buddhism. It implores us to be mindful of the words we use and their impact on ourselves and others. This precept highlights four specific types of harmful speech that we should avoid, lying, divisive speech, abusive speech, and idle chatter. Lying, according to Buddha, is a serious transgression because it distorts the truth and obstructs personal growth. In Buddhism, the pursuit of truth is fundamental and lies are seen as obstacles on the path to understanding and enlightenment. By speaking the truth, we not only honor reality, but also create an environment of trust and integrity in our relationships. Divisive speech, characterized by sowing discord and fomenting hostility among individuals or groups, is also condemned. Words have immense power, and when used to pit people against each other, they can cause profound harm. Choosing to refrain from divisive speech fosters unity and harmony, 
promoting an atmosphere of cooperation and goodwill. Abusive speech, which includes harsh, malicious, and rude language, is detrimental not only to the recipient, but also to the speaker. It corrodes the bonds of compassion and empathy that connect us as human beings. By embracing benevolent and kind words, we not only uplift others, but also elevate our own moral character. Our speech can become a source of inspiration and encouragement. Idle chatter, the fourth form of harmful speech, often consists of meaningless gossip or frivolous conversations that serve no constructive purpose. Engaging in idle chatter wastes valuable time and energy that could be used for more meaningful interactions. Mindful communication involves using words that are meaningful, purposeful, and uplifting. In practicing this precept, we recognize that words have the power to heal, bring happiness, and provide essential support to those in need. Our speech is a reflection of our inner state, and by embracing honesty, benevolence, and mindfulness in our communication, we not only contribute to the well-being of ourselves, but also create a more compassionate and harmonious world. In a world where words can be wielded as weapons or used to inspire and heal, Buddha's guidance on right speech serves as a timeless reminder of the profound impact our words can have on our own lives and the lives of those around us. By abstaining from wrong speech and choosing to communicate with kindness, truthfulness, and mindfulness, we take a significant step towards living a good life in accordance with the teachings of Buddha. 5. Avoid the consumption of intoxicants. The fifth precept, avoid the consumption of intoxicants, serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of mental clarity and mindfulness in our lives. Buddha's wisdom extends far beyond a simple admonition against the consumption of drugs and alcohol. It encapsulates a profound philosophy that transcends substances to encompass the very essence of our existence. Buddha's emphasis on maintaining a clear and mindful state of mind underlines the fundamental principle that our consciousness is a precious asset. By consuming intoxicants, we risk clouding this invaluable gift, leading to heedlessness and negligence. In such a state, we become detached from the reality of our actions, often making choices we later regret. This precept, therefore, serves as a safeguard against losing touch with our true selves. The scope of abstaining from intoxicants extends beyond substances themselves. It encompasses anything that obstructs mindfulness, be it excessive indulgence in material desires, attachment to worldly possessions, or an obsession with fleeting pleasures. By refraining from these distractions, we preserve not only our sobriety, but also our agency in shaping our lives. Living in the modern world where alcohol and drugs are often intertwined with socialization and relaxation, adhering to this precept can indeed be challenging. However, it is precisely in the face of such challenges that the teachings of Buddha reveal their profound relevance. By choosing to abstain from intoxicants, we display a commitment to a higher purpose, one that transcends momentary gratification and seeks lasting fulfillment. Moreover, Buddha's teachings invite us to explore the mental dimensions of this precept. Our desires and attachments can intoxicate our minds, leading to restlessness and inner turmoil. It is in acknowledging and addressing these inner intoxicants that we find a path to balance and tranquility. By practicing mindfulness and cultivating an awareness of our own thoughts and desires, we regain control over our mental state and, in turn, over our lives. In essence, the fifth precept teaches us that the journey to a good life is not solely about external actions, but also about nurturing the purity and clarity of our inner selves. It calls us to embrace sobriety, both in terms of substances and the mental clutter that often plagues our thoughts. By doing so, we honor the wisdom of Buddha and embark on a transformative journey towards a life marked by mindfulness, self-awareness, and profound inner peace.
The teachings of Buddha's five precepts offer us a profound roadmap to living a good life. These precepts transcend mere rules. They are principles that guide us toward a life of meaning, compassion, and mindfulness. By refraining from taking life, theft, sexual misconduct, wrong speech, and intoxicants, we not only avoid harmful actions, but also cultivate virtues such as compassion, honesty, generosity, and mindfulness. These virtues not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to the well-being of society and all sentient beings. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, it's essential to reflect on these precepts and integrate them into our lives. Remember that the path to a good life lies in our intentions and actions, both towards ourselves and others. By practicing these precepts, we not only honor the wisdom of Buddha, but also become beacons of peace, compassion, and harmony in an often turbulent world. Let these teachings inspire you on your journey towards a life filled with purpose and goodness. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening.